channel so today's video is going to be how I do my brows I recently was asked by one of my snapchat friends how I do my brows and asked if I could do a video so here it is also this video is just to help you guys out on what tips I like to do or what products I like to use especially for the people that are barely adventuring out into makeup and I hope this kind of helps you guys out as well as other people and also I would like to introduce myself for the people that are new to my channel hello my name is Elizabeth Ramirez and welcome so if you guys want to see how I fill in my brows then just keep on watching okay so the first thing that I like to do is I like to take my L'Oreal brow stylist in dark brunette and I like to just bully my hairs to one side that way they're all facing in one direction So next I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade in dark brown, looks like this. And I'm taking a BH Cosmetics 107 brush, it's just a very synthetic angle brush. I absolutely love to use this for my brows. So I'm just going to take very little of that product. I really don't need too much because trust me a little bit does go a long way and now I like to start kind of like in the center like kind of below where my arch is at so I'm going to very slightly to start warming up that product underneath my brow and working my way out like that now the bottom of my brow, I like to get it as straight as possible, but don't worry if you feel like you messed up or you added too much product, don't worry, you can fix those very easily. Going back again. And now I'm going to focus that product on where my arch is at and bring it down. So very little strokes and I'm not adding too much pressure I'm using very like a very soft hand with this and then I'm just going to connect the bottom I'm sorry the top to the bottom and just work those two lines together and then whatever product I have left I just like to fill it in and then go back to where the arch is at fill in with whatever product I have left and then I like to go towards the front not the front but in the middle on the top of my brow and I like to make a line not too much of a line but Sorry, it's just on my brother. <laughs> but I'm just going to focus that product with a very light hand. And then whatever product I have left, kind of bring it toward the front. And if you feel like it's a little too harsh, I like to go and take my spoolie side from my brow whiz. Not my brow whiz, I'm sorry from my brow stylist from L'Oreal and I kind of like just to brush everything out that way it's not too harsh and then I like to go in again focusing on that bottom line with whatever product I have left and then 
I like to go in with my brow pencil. This is from L'Oreal. And I like to just go in towards the bottom, like right in the front, and kind of straighten that line. I'm using a very soft hand for this because I really want this part to be very natural as now possible. Now I'm just going to put my brush kind of towards upward to mimic the appearance of fake hairs. If it looks too harsh, just use your spoolie and just brush it upwards with very light pressure. And you kind of just brush everything out as well. If it looks a little messy, don't worry. We are going to go in with concealer to just kind of clean everything up. So if it looks a little messy or it looks like it's too much product, don't worry. We'll fix that. I'm going to go in with concealer. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin in Medium. And I'm just going to grab some of that concealer and put some in the back of my hand. This works easier for me. I mean, you can put it on just the brush itself. But this, I find it very easier just to control the product. And I'm taking a flat brush, and it looks like this. And I'm just going to dip my brush into the product. I'm putting the tip onto the concealer. And I'm going to start where I actually started putting product. So I'm going to start kind of like in the bottom where the arch is at. And really just focus and take my time just cleaning my brow. And then whatever product I have left on the brush, I kind of bring it towards the front. And then I also like to bring whatever I have left down. Now that really just cleans your brow itself. So for example, say you got really messy underneath your brow, the concealer is just going to kind of erase everything underneath or just kind of correct your mistakes. Then I like to go with where whatever I have left again on my concealer and just, on my concealer, on my brush. And I just like to focus that a little bit where the arch is at and just kind of bring that down. Also towards the middle and the front. So now I'm just going to blend everything out with my finger. And then I kind of leave this part alone because I don't want to look like my brows are very boxy in the front I like to make sure that that is as natural as possible now you can go as bold or as natural as possible with your brows anyway they are your brows are going to be on your face and if you want to wear them dramatically go for it if you want to wear them very natural then go for it as well it's totally up to you and yeah so now we're going to move on to the other brow now I would say this is my my problem brow and this is my good brow we all have that brow that just works and we all have that brow that just wants to make everything really complicated so I would say this one is definitely my bad brow and this one is my good brow so we're gonna move on to this brow and I'm gonna just repeat the same steps that I did for this brow just in case if you guys if I went too fast for you guys or if you guys want to see another example what I'm gonna do on my other brow then we can move on to this one next Okay, so I'm taking my pomade again. This is in dark brown. And I'll make sure to list everything that I use on in the description bar for you guys. And I'm taking my angle brush again. I'm getting very little product. You don't need that much product, especially dealing with pomades. I feel like, I mean, if you really want a really like defined brow if you really want a dark and bold brow then you can definitely use as much product as you want but this is what I like to do especially when I'm going for more of a natural brow um, I like to dip just a little bit onto my brush and then kind of put it as I go on so now we are going to start again where in the bottom of my arch I like to start right there and then work my way out and I do have a scar right here so I like to extend my brow a little bit further just to kind of cover that up. But now I'm just going to extend it like that. I'm using a very light hand for this, like I said. Start where my arch is at and work my way outwards as well. So this brow, 
is a little more rounded and this one is a little bit more pointy so I want to make sure I get them as close as possible or try to get them as close as possible now remember this your brows are sisters not twins I think that's how they say it your brows are sisters not twins so if they don't look even that's okay I mean we always have that brow that doesn't look exactly the same but don't get don't let it bother you don't worry and then it's the bottom line to the top line and then just fill in whatever product I have on my brush I like to come towards the top of my brow and kind of just fix and kind of fill in those hairs that I am missing I like to go towards the bottom of my brow and just really create that sharp underneath now I like to go in with my brow pencil and I like to finish where I left off so right underneath here I'm going to make that straight line again and I'm using a very very soft hand with this to have my pencil up and just really have like a light hand with this and just kind of push my pencil upwards to mimic the appearance of the hairs so we are going in with concealer again I still have some concealer on here but I just like some extra concealer and again I'm using the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer in Medium And I'm just going to take my flat brush again, dip the tip of the brush into the concealer, and just start again at the end, and work my way out. And whatever product I have left, I like to bring it towards the front, like that. Bring that concealer down just a little bit. And then also focus that on the arch. Start at the arch, bring it down. And then blend everything out with my finger. Bring it towards the front. And don't put any concealer right in the front of my brow just because I don't want to have that box brow but I mean if that's what you like honey you do you I swear there are so many people passing by my window it's ridiculous like I'm pretty sure they can see me in here <laughs> but next I'm going to set my brows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, what is this clear brow gel and I like to use this because I like to set my brows especially throughout the day um, the purpose of a brow gel is to keep your brows in place and facing one direction so I'm just going to get my little brow gel and I'm just going to set these bad boys. And then when I get more towards the front, I like to just press these hairs up because I feel like it gives this, it gives my brow a little bit more of a natural look. And then just same thing for the other side and then press up so I'm just gonna finish the rest of my face and I'll be back in one second well guys that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys found this video somewhat helpful if you guys did like this video please go ahead and give it a beautiful thumbs up also if you guys are not subscribed to my channel feel free to subscribe that way you guys are notified when I upload which is every single week I hope you guys are having a beautiful beautiful day thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys